Iowa Rock and Roll Association's Hall of Fame weekend. Dan, tell us what your thoughts are. Hi. Oh, it's uh, the Hall of Fame weekend here is, is the best experience that I had in my life. And what I like is seeing all the new inductees be as excited as I was when I got inducted. What year were you inducted? In 2004. And so since then, what has happened with your journey with, with Iowa Rocks? Well, I, I was so excited about it that I came back the very next year, and I've been back every year since 2004. And uh, after about three years of that, starting in 2004 and 2009, I was asked to join the board of directors, and I've been on the board of directors since 2008. I love to hear how you are coming in as a musician and an inductee, but then still making a difference with the board of directors. What do you see as the vision and, and looking forward for the Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association? Well, to continue what we're doing and, and of course, honor the legacy of rock and roll here in Iowa. And of course, right now, uh, bringing in the young people so that they can have the same experience that I've had is what I see as the future. So tell us, um, as a musician, who are some of your musical influences? <laughs> well, I go back a long way, and of course, probably my very first one was people like Buddy Holly and Elvis Presley and Buddy Knox and people like that, Everly Brothers, those type. Those were my early influences. And as I, I got a band myself back in the 60s, why uh, many other groups came along. And of course, the Beatles was a big influence, and uh, those types of groups, uh, Eagles, those types of bands. So are there any fun stories from, from your years as a musician that you can share? Well, I did it for so long. Our band was together for about 13 years, and there are just so many stories that it's really hard to pick out just one, but one that I do like to tell a lot of times is how uh, one time in Omaha, the Everly Brothers actually came to see my band play. They had a three-night stand in Omaha. They played Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we knew the venue owner that had the Everly Brothers playing, and they, he asked us to come out to see the Everly Brothers and said, I can have you meet the Everly Brothers on a Thursday. So we did that. After the show, we got to meet them. We were talking, and they were friendly. And uh, we told them, hey, uh, we're going to be in town Saturday night playing downtown. And the place we were playing was not the greatest place in the world, but we were playing there. And they said, we're playing down there. Why don't you come see us? And they said, oh, we'll be there. So we did the job, didn't think anything more about it, didn't, didn't, didn't no expectations. About 11 o'clock that night, here they all came, the Beverly Brothers, their entire band, spent the rest of the night, closed down the place with us, and their band got on stage and jammed all night with us till they closed. It's fantastic memories. And you know, this year we are celebrating 25 years. Um, what, what do you want to share about your experience in the past 25 years with, with anybody or just even like words of advice going forward? Well, never, if you're in music and you enjoy doing it and you have any kind of ability to do it, don't ever give it up. Uh, keep it going for the rest of your life and uh, all the people that I've gotten to meet being involved with the Iowa Rock and Roll Music Association since I got involved. I can't imagine uh, who my friends would be at this stage of life if I hadn't been involved for the last 18 years myself. I appreciate everything that you've shared and thank you so much. Congratulations on your past induction, being a part of the board of directors and seeing the vision of the past 25 years and taking it forward into the future. So thank you. Thank you so much and I appreciate it.